What is the check engine light on your vehicle's dash telling you? It could be warning you to a problem with your vehicle's emission system. The emission system includes oxygen sensors and the three-way catalyst or catalytic converter. If there's a problem with any of these systems, the check engine light will illuminate to warn the driver of a possible problem. Ignoring this problem could cause increased fuel consumption, higher vehicle emissions or pollution, or even a failure of state or local vehicle emissions testing. In the event of a check engine light illuminating, it is wise to first check for simple things that could cause the problem. Check to make sure the fuel cap is in place and securely tightened, as a loose cap can cause the check engine light to illuminate. Check also for any damaged or disconnected wires at the oxygen sensor. If no problems are found, a professional diagnostic scan may be required. Vehicles 1996 model year and newer are OBD2 compliant. OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics. OBD2 is a system of standardized protocol fault codes retrievable with a professional scan tool. A professional technician may use a scan tool to find the source of a check engine light. The scan tool may point the technician in the direction of the fault, but additional testing such as a road test may also be required. If testing reveals an oxygen sensor is in need of replacement, there are a few steps a technician will use to replace the failed sensor. Once the sensor in need of replacement has been located, a replacement must be sourced. The replacement sensor must function in the same way as the original equipment sensor and have the correct wire length and connecting hardware. The old sensor is removed by first releasing the wire harness connector and then removing any connecting hardware that may hold the sensor wires in place. Using an oxygen sensor socket, the old sensor is removed. Often this can be the toughest part of the job as usually the sensor has been in the vehicle for a long time. Once the old sensor has been removed, the new sensor can be installed. Many sensors will come with an anti-seize compound already applied to the threads or included in the packaging. It is a good idea to use this compound to aid in future sensor removal. Using the same oxygen sensor socket, the new sensor is threaded into the exhaust, using care not to twist or damage the wires. The new sensor should be sufficiently tightened. With the new sensor in place, any hardware along the wires should be plugged back in. Finally, reattach the connector. The vehicle should then be restarted to, to look for any check engine light illumination. Vehicle road testing is again a good idea to check for any other system malfunctions. With proper diagnostics and installation, the possibility of reoccurring problems is reduced. For more information about NTK oxygen sensors, please visit us at ngksparkplugs.com.